Aston Martin just dropped a bombshell. Should they ditch Lance Stroll? It's a hot topic causing waves in the Formula One world. Is it time for the team to cut ties with Stroll? Some say yes, citing his inconsistent performances. Others argue he deserves more chances. So let's dive into this video today to know. Are Stroll's days numbered in the Aston Martin seat? Stick around to uncover the latest in this gripping saga. Despite aggressive upgrades to his car, Lance Stroll faced a challenging weekend at Suzuka, while his teammate Alonso managed to secure a commendable P6 finish, outpacing both Mercedes drivers and Piastri, Stroll's performance lagged behind. Even in qualifying, his pace was notably lacking compared to Alonso's impressive showing. With Aston Martin's performance at stake, questions arise regarding Lawrence Stroll's continued endorsement of his son within the team. As bigger investors consider acquiring a significant stake in Aston Martin, it prompts speculation about the team's future direction and whether it's time for a change in leadership. The battle between Aston Martin and Mercedes has been closely contested, but Lance Stroll's inconsistent performances pose a significant challenge for the Silverstone-based team. While he contributed to Aston Martin's competitiveness in Australia, his lack of consistency, as evidenced by a Q1 exit in Japan and failure to score points despite strategic tyre choices, remains a cause for concern. Further, despite being just one point behind Lewis Hamilton in the championship standings, Lance Stroll finds himself in a challenging position at P10 in the table. His teammate Alonso sits significantly ahead at P8 with nearly three times more points. Additionally, Stroll faces pressure from Sonoda, who is closing in on him in the championship standings and could potentially become a contender for Aston Martin's seat in the future, addressing immediate concerns for Aston Martin. To remain competitive against Mercedes in the midfield battle, Aston Martin must urgently address Lance Stroll's driving performance. Stroll's persistent qualifying struggles in 2024 have left him consistently starting from a disadvantaged position on the grid. This places him at a significant disadvantage, especially on tracks like Suzuka, where overtaking is challenging due to narrow roads. Even strategic tyre choices, such as opting for soft compounds in the latter stages of races, have failed to improve his position. Improving Stroll's driving manners is crucial for Aston Martin's competitiveness. Addressing his qualifying woes and ensuring he starts races from a more favourable position will be vital for the team's success in the ongoing midfield battle against Mercedes. Additionally, enhancing Stroll's performance on tracks where overtaking opportunities are limited will be essential for maximizing his potential and securing valuable points for the team. Contrary to expectations, Lance Stroll faced further challenges during the race in Suzuka. Despite being passed by Hülkenberg, who was considered outside the competitive window compared to Stroll, Aston Martin's issues persisted. While the team encountered difficulties towards the end of the 2023 season, they started the current campaign with high hopes, especially after introducing a significant upgrade package in Japan. However, relying solely on Alonso to accumulate points isn't sustainable for Aston Martin. Aston Martin's aspirations for podium finishes and challenging McLaren for third place in the Constructors' Championship cannot be realized with just one driver. While Alonso has been instrumental in scoring points for the team, Stroll's inconsistent performances highlight the need for a narrative shift within the team. In a demanding 24-race calendar, fortunes can change rapidly, emphasizing the urgency for Aston Martin to address their driver performance issues. Concerns for Aston Martin's future? The reliance on Alonso for points became a concern for Aston Martin's long-term competitiveness. While Alonso demonstrated a solid performance, the team's over-reliance on him poses risks, particularly if Stroll continues to struggle. With the dynamic nature of Formula One, Aston Martin must prioritize resolving their driver performance challenges to maintain competitiveness throughout the season. Challenges with car upgrades at Suzuka During the Suzuka race, Lance Stroll expressed dissatisfaction with the car upgrades, suggesting that they may not align with his driving style. Despite the team's efforts to introduce a competitive upgrade package, Stroll's performance was hindered by a lack of pace in the car. 
while the upgrades, including a Red Bull-inspired side pod design and a new floor, seemed to suit Fernando Alonso, Stroll struggled to find confidence in the car's performance. Stroll candidly remarked that he had nothing positive to say about the upgrades. He noted that although the upgrades looked good on Alonso's car and everything felt fine for the Spaniard, Stroll found the car to be slow with no pace in terms of the car's performance and his own driving. This discrepancy in performance between Alonso and Stroll underscores the need for a closer examination of the data to identify any underlying issues with the car's setup, including tyre performance and overall handling. To address Stroll's concerns and improve overall performance, the team must meticulously analyse the data from Suzuka. By evaluating factors such as tyre performance and setup configuration, they can determine if any issues affected Stroll's ability to extract maximum performance from the car. Following the race, Lance Stroll voiced concerns about the car's straight-line speed, highlighting a significant performance disparity. He remarked feeling as if he were driving in a different category due to the car's poor straight-line speed. This deficiency played a pivotal role in the challenging overtake by Hülkenberg early in the race. Despite covering considerable ground in the race's initial stages and showing promise for a points finish, Stroll ultimately finished in P12, falling short of his goal. With an on-lap deficit to his teammate Alonso and missing out on a point scoring position, it's evident that there's substantial room for improvement on Stroll's end. Achieving consistency in performance is imperative for Aston Martin to maintain their position in the B4 standings encouraging words from Alonso. In contrast, Fernando Alonso offered words of encouragement, highlighting the team's progress. He noted that he was only fractions of a second away from science in Ferrari, a significant improvement from the previous year's deficit of 1.5 seconds. This positive shift reflects Aston Martin's continued efforts to close the gap with their competitors and underscores the potential for further improvement in future races. Enhancing the car's performance is crucial for Aston Martin's success. While aerodynamic improvements are necessary, the team cannot overlook the driver performance issue. Seeing Stroll outperformed by Tsunoda, despite having theoretically and practically faster machinery, is concerning for potential investors like Aramco. If Aramco pursues a greater stake in the team, they may insist on significant changes, such as replacing Stroll with a driver of higher caliber. Lawrence Stroll's lack of motivation is evident, especially considering his son's performance. The possibility of Aramco requesting Stroll's removal or reassignment to another category could shake the foundations of Lawrence's influence within the team. However, Stroll's current disinterest in his racing seat has yet to harm him, largely due to his father's substantial influence over the team. Despite speculation about potential driver changes, the likelihood of Alonso departing the team seems slim given recent developments in the silly season market. However, Lawrence Stroll's lack of motivation and apparent indifference towards his son's performance could pose challenges for the team's stability and future decisions regarding the driver lineup. Recent discussions about Aramco's interest in acquiring a significant stake in Aston Martin signal potential changes on the horizon. While Lawrence Stroll will still wield considerable influence over driver decisions, the process may not be as unanimous as before. Lance Stroll may need to address concerns from various stakeholders if he wishes to continue his Formula One career within the team. Implications of partnership with Honda a potential partnership between Aston Martin and Honda could bring consequences for the former. Honda is known for its stringent treatment of drivers, evident in their handling of drivers like Amori Wasa and Tsunoda. Despite initial doubts about Tsunoda's behaviour and driving, his notable performance in outperforming Ricciardo and being the sole point scorer for Red Bull Racing strengthens his position. Tsunoda's success underscores his suitability for driving in a more competitive team, which may prompt considerations for Aston Martin's driver lineup. As discussions with Aramco progress and potential partnerships with Honda loom, Aston Martin faces uncertainties regarding its future direction and driver lineup. Lance Stroll, in particular, may need to address challenges and adapt to evolving circumstances to secure his place in the team amidst shifting dynamics and competing interests.
With uncertainty surrounding the availability of a seat at Red Bull Racing, Lance Stroll must explore other potential opportunities within Formula One. Despite statements from Red Bull's Helmut Marko regarding Perez and possible external hires like Carlos Sainz, it's improbable that Tsunoda or Ricciardo would secure the seat. While this may be disappointing for Ricciardo, Tsunoda could leverage Honda's support to secure a seat at Aston Martin, even if it means competing alongside Lance Stroll. As Fernando Alonso's tenure in Formula One winds down, opportunities may arise within Mercedes, although recent developments suggest a focus on continuing the deal with Aston Martin. Nonetheless, this doesn't rule out possibilities for Tsunoda. Regardless of seat availability, Lance Stroll faces mounting pressure to maintain his position. The extent to which his father, Lawrence Stroll, will intervene to support him remains uncertain, raising questions about Lance's ability to thrive in F1 without familial ties to team ownership. So what do you think of the major bombshell by Aston Martin about Lance Stroll? Comment below and subscribe for more such videos.